Gas main break on Grand Avenue between 2nd Avenue and 3rd. It had forced the closings of 3rd and Grand, 4th and Grand, and 4th and Watson Powell. Many of the buildings in the area marked in red on this map have been evacuated. However, we have just learned that 4th from Locust to Watson Powell is being reopened. KCTI's Vanessa Pang joins us live from Coles Commons, right across from the Civic Center, with the latest on this. Hey guys, I'm at Locust and 3rd with Splash restaurant to my right and the Civic Center to my left. And it looks like some traffic is moving through right now, but some parts of the area are still closed, as you can see here. A lot of fire, people out here. Now, joining me now live is Captain Martin. How are you doing? I'm fine. Good. So, can you tell us a little bit about what's going on here? So, this evening we received a call. Um, there was a, a boring unit went through a four inch gas line, causing a gas leak underground. Uh, the Des Moines Fire Department responded with the hazardous materials team. We started to take some measurements. There was natural gas that was being released, and we shut down a lot of traffic. We evaluated some commercial buildings. There were four, at the height of the incident, there were four buildings that had been evacuated. Um, again, at the, height of the, at the height, we had about eight square blocks shut down to traffic. We now have traffic shut down basically on Grand is the only street that is closed. Um, and from 2nd to 5th. So we are doing our best. The gas has been shut off. Now we are working on mitigating the gas out of the area, making sure that there's no other pockets of the natural gas in any area that's a hazard to the community, um, and, and letting it do its job, which is kind of evacuate out of the area to make it safe for everyone. So everyone's safe though right now? There's so far, everyone is safe, no injuries. Um, the readings are that are found are very, very low. There's nothing left in the buildings that have any um, have any natural gas in there that we're picking up with the meters so right now everybody is safe um there are two businesses that are without natural gas but there are no residential units that have been affected by it thanks for the update no problem and as the captain just mentioned there was a strong smell of gas earlier today when we were live here at five and now it appears to have dissipated and where i'm here live at the splash restaurant we heard that they were told to extinguish all their candles for the concern that something might happen with all that natural glass gas leaking out and over here at the Civic Center they have bridges of Madison County happening and the show is going on but they are telling all their patrons about all this rerouting traffic so hopefully everyone gets there on time and doesn't miss the show so we'll have more updates as they become available here for now live in Des Moines Vanessa Payne KCCI 8 News I was newsly